This was not the first song that I wrote on the album, but it is the first one on the album. It came as a surprise from a conversation that I received from an ex, my first boyfriend, my first everything, my first love. And he came in the middle of the process of me making the album and he was like, hey, you know, I'm sorry for what I did. I see you doing great things and, you know, I apologize and I want to come shoot my shot. And I had not seen or talked to him for like over 20 something years, right? And I started writing the songs August 2018. We finished the album May of 2019, six months. He came in January and was like, you know, I'm going to shoot my shot. You know what I'm saying? All that. And I'm thinking, I don't even like you. I don't even know you. And you surely don't know me because I'm not the same person. And he's like, you know, this is what we can do. We can take pictures and we can post them online because we were something back then. And we can, and you know, we could post that with the middle school and the high school sweethearts are back and everybody's going to be like, woo, 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 woo. And I'm thinking, that's what got you in trouble the first time around doing stuff because other people wanted you to do it. And me, and you know, me, I love hard and I love deep. I was very young. We were young, but still that broke my heart what he did. And he apologized for it. You know, he said it was stupid, but it set me on a course of insecurity. It set me on this thing where I'm choosing one bad relationship after another. I can't seem to figure out I did everything right, but I still have people treating me like I don't deserve to be loved. So I was like, um, shoot your shot. You come around here and get shot. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just joking. I said, no, that would not be a win-win for me. That would be a win-win for you, but that would be a big L for me because what you did, you apologize for it, but it truly did affect me for the entirety of my life until like five, six years ago when I started to really, you know, deal with that stuff. And then now you want to come back at the highest high of my career, books dropping and albums coming out and clothing line. <laughs> you thought. So I got off the phone with him and I wrote the song. But of course, I told him, don't shoot your shot. And because I'm not interested. And I wrote the song in like two minutes. And it says you thought that you could come back around and everything would fall into place. A happy ever after. Well, baby, that's not the case. Oh, and he was also like, you know, I could do a YouTube video saying it was me and that it was me that you wrote about on page 85 because I did write about it. I think I wrote about it in Let's Talk It Out and in Finish It. And I'm also writing, writing my third book. But it's not about because you love me, you're in love with me and you've been thinking about me all this time and you just know that we were meant to be together and that I just made a mistake. It was none of that. It was the clout stuff. It was about, you know, this picture and we're gonna talk about that in some other songs that i wrote this picture that you're painting but inside it's a graveyard um i said no and, and here's the thing he's just talking i'm listening like who is this person that he thinks he's talking to because i'm not the same dorian right and how is that going to be a reward for me after all this work that i've done on myself this is the end this is my love story to end up with someone who really really broke me as a person and then I have to spend all these years dealing with that. And then we get to come back together and live happily ever after. <laughs> you thought. Anyways, so when you get a chance, listen to the song, listen to the lyrics. Now you know the story behind it.